brothers and sisters of Christ, I have a very hopefully positive and uplifting message I would love to get out to you guys. I, I would say this is a little bit more towards the weary, the weary ones out there, to the ones who feel day by day drained by this earth. Believe me, guys, I am that person. I am so weary. I'm so drained. I'm so wore out of doing this every single day, guys. I know you're going through the same battles and tribulations that I am. We battle this flesh day by day. Uh, but of course, this message oh, this is going to have a little bit of bad news. Though it is, of course, this is a Watchmen channel. I must kind of discuss the news with you guys. So I'm going to be researching this a little bit more. But as far as I know right now, apparently there's been a bit more of an escalation in the nuclear war. Apparently Putin's hand is more on the big red button than he was a week prior. I don't know what set him off just yet, but I'm definitely going to be looking into that. Um, I just, I know it's, it's huge news that I'm, again, I'm going to look into. I need to actually research these things before I tell you guys about it, but just know it is uh, certainly a big escalation and Poon is quite literally done with the U.S. and I don't blame him. The U.S. provokes wars. The U.S. is a part of NATO. The U.S. is a part of the one world government. And I'm not talking about all the politicians. I know that they've infiltrated our government and they have basically taken over. So we are part of the world economic forum. America is part of the world economic forum. Now that we got that away, let's kind of go into some positivity. Guys, I cannot wait. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel. Let me know what your state of mind is right now. Let me know how your state of being is right now. And let, let's all pray for each other. We need to constantly be in prayer for one another. And again, I'm talking to myself as well. I need to make sure that I continue to pray for you guys. So if you want me to pray for you guys, I, I ask you to please leave a comment. And eventually I'm going to be making a prayer list so we can all pray for each other. And likewise, I pray that you'll do the same thing. But guys, my message is so very simple. Hang in there, guys. We are just, guys, we are so close to the end. It's like we, we see like a film in front of us, right? It's not, not like a video film, but we see this kind of like, it's like a wall, but it's like a very thin film. And like, it, it just takes one little thing, one little swipe. It's like, it's like a spider web, a spider web that you can't see through, but you know that it's, it's very like weak, like a, like a little spider's web, right? You slash it and then everything breaks apart. Or it's like an end game of Jenga, right? It's at the end of the game and the whole tower is about to fall over. It really just takes one little nudge, one, one little pull before the whole thing collapses, like a house of cards. And especially... As I'm about to cover this news tomorrow about the big escalation and nuclear war, guys, we should be staying ready, especially now. And though constantly we are mocked and scoffed for believing in a pre-tribulation rapture, we're mocked and scoffed for waiting for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come back, which, guys, this could be so glorious. This could be so joyful when that happens. We're not going to be caring for this world anymore. But at the same time, while we're here on this earth, I, I do feel bad. I, I, I do feel so bad for the people who, number one, are not going to be taken to rapture, and number two, who are going to be taken out in the nuclear war, where I believe 25% of the population uh, will cease to exist and be brought into judgment. I, I, guys, we, we had to pray specifically for those people who are not going to be alive very much longer, because, again, we know that nuclear war is so, coming so soon, whether it's tomorrow, next week, or next year. We know that it's so soon. We have to pray for those people because they are about to be brought into judgment so fast. I pray that God will hearken to this voice. And I pray that they'll have a little bit of time beforehand, get a warning that nukes are coming, that get on their knees, repent to God, repent to Jesus Christ, confess that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Savior and believe in their heart. And I pray that God will just work miracles upon them, that they may believe fully in that moment that Jesus is the son of God. I, I, I feel so bad that that does, that does kind of make me upset. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of choking up a bit guys. Cause I haven't really thought about that too much. Like God's judgment is coming, is, is coming so soon. I, I know this is supposed to be an uplifting and joyful message, but I, I feel terrible. And I, I hope this does uplift you still and make you joyful. We have to pray for those people who are lost. We have to pray for the ones who are about to be brought into judgment so very soon. It's, it's very, it's so, so sad. It's so sad because they are eternal beings just as we are eternal beings. But other than that, guys, I know that when the rapture happens and then we are taken with Jesus, there's gonna be no more pain, no more suffering, no more crying, no more death, only joy, only happiness only righteousness, nothing evil anymore, guys. I'm, I'm fed up. I am fed up with dealing 
with the flesh. I am sick of, I'm sick of sin. I am so sick of my flesh burdening me every single day and casting me away from God. Because that's really what our flesh is. It is opposition to God. It wants to bring us away from God. I, I'm sick of it. I'm done. I see this every single video. I'm fed up. I'm done falling into stupid things. I, I, I know you guys feel the same way too. We're all, we're all done falling, falling into stupid things, this stupid traps, stupid snares that we can't see afar off. And then when we see it, our flesh longs to do that evil. It falls into it, whether it's impatience, whether it's getting angry, whether it's even, even like the worst stuff, like sexually immoral thoughts or fornication or adultery, what, whatever you guys are suffering through. I know it's, it's all, it's all the same thing, but guys just hold strong. Hold strong. Let's finish this fight. We are certainly running that race. We thought it was a 400 meter race, but it turns out it's a 1600 meter race. And then once we get around that turn, it's going to continue a little bit longer. Maybe, maybe a 3200 meter race, but we know eventually it will end and it will not tarry for very long. So I have one thing to leave you with before I end this message, and that is to spread this word. I'm not talking about these videos. You don't have to spread these videos. I don't want to make a dime from you. I don't want to get monetized. If you don't want to subscribe, if you don't want to like the videos, that is on you. If you don't, if you don't want to share my videos, again, that is completely on, on you. But you should spread the word, guys, of Jesus and his soon coming, especially the message of the cross. He has cast our sin onto him, so he is the bearer of our sin. Though we were sinners, he has died on the cross for us. I'm so thankful that through him, we're redeemed to be with our heavenly father and to be with Jesus Christ forever and ever. We know that he lived a perfect life. We know that he was tempted as we were, we were tempted. And even though he was under our same curse, our same fleshly curse, he has overcame the world. And I know that likewise, we can do the same. Though again, I'm, I'm not a perfectionist, though we should be certainly striving for, for perfection every single day, guys. I'm not giving you a license to sin by any means. But guys, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart that I, I love you guys so much. And I'm so thankful for all my brothers and sisters of Christ who have subscribed to this channel, who has been sharing my links, the ones who are just with me in this time. Though I am the dust of earth, I deserve none of this. I don't, I don't deserve even be here on this earth, I don't deserve to have this food I'm about to have in a little while. I don't deserve any of this. By the glory of God, he has allowed me to talk to you guys. He's allowed me to be a watchman for you guys as well. So I'm so I'm so thankful for that. And again, I love each and every single one of you. Again, I don't want to I don't want to keep this message too very long, guys. But let's let's spread the word of Jesus soon coming. And we know that we know that time is so soon, guys. I love you all. Peace.